a cold and windy Saturday here in State College, Pennsylvania, but fans still came to Beaver Stadium nonetheless. A little more empty than usual, but James Franklin and the Nittany Lions said it was still a good test ahead of the upcoming season. It was a quiet first quarter scoreless for the blue white game, but in the second quarter, Drew Aller passes it off to Quinton Martin Jr. The running back goes in for the nine yard score to put Team White up seven nothing over Team Blue. Now Team White would go into halftime up 13 nothing in the fourth quarter. Bo Prabula hands it off to Quinton Martin Jr. It's his second score of the game, runs it 12 yards up the gut, 20 nothing Team White leads. And then the dagger for Team White. It's Aller dropping back to pass, hits the air and finds the tight end Andrew Rapelier. He's got the easy score in the touchdown, makes it 27-0, and Team White dominates in shutout fashion over Team Blue. The final from the spring game, 27-zip. I was just thankful for the opportunity to come play in front of the fans, run around a little bit, just have fun. I thought we had 15 really physical, competitive practices. I thought today was good, got a lot of work in, got a bunch of situations covered. I did think we had too many pre-snap penalties on offense. Um, you know, I know it wasn't extremely loud, but we hadn't done any noise during spring ball, and I think some of the young players got affected by that. Didn't think we started fast enough on offense. Again, we start the game with a, a true freshman offensive lineman jumping off sides. Um, we got to start better on offense, so we're able to get into a rhythm and get ahead of the sticks. I think there was a lot of good that we showed on tape and that we'll watch throughout the next couple of weeks. Still some things to clean up, uh, specifically like the pre-snap penalties on offense, you know, just getting on the same page, communicating, and just eliminating those things, but those are super easy to eliminate. I think, you know, just now that we have a foundation of Coach Hay's offense from the spring, I think just kind of, you know, dialing in on that and, and into the more specific stuff so that we can handle that in the summer, you know, watch more Kansas film, really dive deep into it now that we understand what, you know, what his kind philosophy is um, come fall camp. Well, the next time the Nittany Lions will take the field here at Beaver Stadium in front of their home fans, Saturday, September 7th, hosting Bowling Green. Until then, reporting in State College for WGAL News 8, I'm Bethany Miller.